What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. D-Dub here, and welcome back to our last episode here on Feast Fest, which only makes sense seeing as how Thanksgiving was, well, for me today, for you yesterday, assuming you're watching this the day it comes out. Anyway, Thanksgiving has come to an end, and it is time to bring this park to an end as well. Uh, we're going to do so with a wooden coaster. We're going to try to make this take up all of the remaining space in our park, which is this back section right here. At least that's my goal. Um, we're going to put the station, I'm thinking, right... Where did I have in mind? There's a nice open spot right here, assuming I can get track. Okay, yeah, so that works nice. Uh, we're going to do a little bit, and then we're going to remove a little bit because I want to make sure that we've got room to bring this in uh, from wherever we wherever we come back from. Or wherever we end the ride. That just looks so cool. <laughs> I love that. Uh, again, we're going to start out with a giant drop. I think that's pretty cool, especially starting this high up. I think it only makes sense. Um, and then we'll bring the walkway probably from here, I'm thinking, kind of over through these trees. And we'll make the entrance and exit a little bit fancier. Oh, that is so cool. So steep. All right. And then that runs us right into the roller coaster. So instead of doing a straight drop right from the beginning, we're going to Espen left first. And then that should clear us to do at least something like this. Okay. Uh, instead of an S-Bend, we'll do this which should actually solve all of our problems. I think we were gonna end up running into our corkscrew coaster as well. Am I? Mm. <laughs> oh gosh, guys. These trees. Part of me is so glad this is our last episode on this park. I don't know what we have in store for us next, but I'm pretty sure we'll be able to modify the land and everything, so we'll at least have that going. Roller coaster in the way. Um, okay, okay. I can turn it there. That's fine. We dropped from 16. So that should be fine. Going up to 14 there. Perfect. Okay, and that's not going to be our main drop. That's just going to be our initial drop to kind of to kind of get us out away from everything. And then let's see if we can't... Uh, let's actually take it straight for a little bit. Okay, so that tree is going to be in our way. By S bend to the right, should be able to. Oh no, those are at a diagonal from each other. Well, fooey. If I go to the left, there's still another tree. If I do this, oh my gosh, guys! So, so looking forward to a new park. This is it's gonna be amazing. Not that I don't like this park. Uh, it's a lot of fun to do, and it's it's a challenge. I knew that coming into this, that this was going to be a challenge, and it has lived up to my expectations, and then some. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do our drop here. We're going to swing it around and do a chain lift right here. Um, right before I started this episode, I was actually, um, I just got done with, well, I say just got done, like three, four hours ago, got done with uh, the turkey trot that I mentioned I was going to run yesterday, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, we do it every year. I think I mentioned that last time, or last episode. And it's a 5K, 10K, or like one mile fun run, depending on what you want to do. Uh, my family and I decided to do the the 5K option. And it was a lot of fun. I was expecting to get a, a time of like 30-ish minutes. Um, I ended up, I was hoping for something under that, like 28 or something like that. I ended up getting 20, 23, 35, and 6 tenths of a second, I believe. Um, which was really unexpected. I was not, again, expecting that, hence unexpected. Um, I was really pleased with it. Uh, we're going to take that up one more right here, just because we need one more tile of clearance to be able to do that, which I think looks really nice. All right. This is going to be a very cool, I think very cool, very busy. I want this to just be 
massive. This is probably going to be the last thing we build, and we have, what, September, October? So only two months to build it? Um, I thought I had more time than that. But that's okay if we don't. Uh, we'll definitely be taking out more of a loan, though. I don't think this is going to be enough money to finish it, as crazy as that sounds. And I can already foresee this ride becoming quite the issue. Um, the trees are already in my way, and now they're going to become trees that I can't see that are in my way. So this might have to do a little bit of different things than I was planning. Uh, just for the sake of being able to see. Because <laughs> that's kind of important when building a ride. Seeing what you're doing, always, always important. Um, if we go this way, can we cut across? Oh, that's cool. I like that. Let's actually end that one earlier so it lines up right inside that. I think that looks really nice. Oh, yeah, that's cool looking. I am a fan. All right, so this puts us at 21, which allows us to kind of cut through uh, this way. I don't want to take it back this direction for the same complaint I just had, and this is why, trees. Um, but if we swing wider, maybe we can get away with something. I don't think I'll have the room to... Yeah, I won't have the room to do that. Um, so instead of doing that, we'll take this one further... And then do this kind of turn. And this will allow us to get back out of this. Which I think will be very nice. Let me just do a momentum check real quick. 28 to 23 to 24. Massive speed boost there. And then we lose all of it. Uh, dropping from 24 to 23 to 21. Okay, so we're constantly, slowly but surely, going down. Which is kind of not what I was aiming for or anything, but... Oh, how cool is that? Correct answer is very cool. Never mind. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Um, What if we take this... I kind of really want to do that. That seems like it would be awesome. Uh, If we take it straight first for a little bit and then start with that kind of drop. Okay, okay. I like that. That's got to be nice. All right, so we're dropping from 21, and we've had a little bit of speed coming into that. So we can probably take this up to 20. I'm going to try slowly but surely kind of tapering off the height that we're at. I think that's going to end up working out really nice. If I can go through this, it'd be too good to be true. <laughs> so let me do... I think I just did wide... Yeah, I think that's what I did. Uh, so we'll try doing it small. See if we can start at one tile earlier and get away with it. Nope, we can't. That's all right. Um, this is all at 14, so we're going to run right into that if we try that. We do it at 15. Again, same issue. So scratch that. Um, we'll take this... What happened here? We got a stoppage. We got to close it down and reopen it. Sorry, 88 people that were in line. I think we had a full line for that. That's what I get for building a water slide the way I did. Uh, where are we? Jeez, this is massive. We got a lot of empty space still. What if we kind of weave it through here and then cut back across and end it? I think that could work nice. It'll fill out all of our space. I think that's going to work. Um, let's do, okay, we're going to do kind of a wide turn here just to position ourselves nicely for hopefully what is to be another quick drop here. The land has other plans for me. And so does that tree. This might be the, th ugh, the same thing I just did. Words are so hard sometimes, guys. Um, that's probably a bad idea. Doing that, like to start a drop is fine, but they've they've got a good amount of speed. Uh, if I recall correctly, which there's a good chance I don't recall correctly. Uh, okay, so 21 to 20. We probably should drop it a little bit though. So we'll just do a tiny bit there. 
And then again, this part, uh, this section over here, I don't want it to be too... Man, and we can't buy any land in this park, can we? No. It's a pretty massive park to begin with. I wasn't really expecting it, but you know. Okay, so we take it straight for one, do a tight turn. You guys know the drill by now. That's how we get away with nothing in this park. Um, that tile right there looks clear. Um, so if we do, that doesn't work. If we do that, that's also not going to work. And we don't have the ability, this lines us up, what, one to the right? I'm going to try that. That might add a lot of unneeded intensity. But I'm going to try it. Oh, I can't wait just to build a ride and not know if it's going to work. Like, just all these trees. Like, I'm having to bob and weave quite a bit through literally everything in this park to get any kind of coaster to work. I love, I love wooden coasters. They're so much fun. Okay, I'm seeing something right now. Okay, so if we loop this here, we can go back underneath this down this hill because there's a pretty clear shot right here. I think that's going to be our plan as long as trees cooperate with us. So we're going to bring it really wide because uh, I'd like this to end kind of on the back side, which is really cool, but... But trees. Um, what do we do here? I don't want to... I guess I can tighten it up. Actually, if we do that... Okay, if we go up by one, does that allow us to clear it? It doesn't. I don't want to go up more than that. Um, what is our objective in this park again? 1,000 guests, which we have. Park rating isn't fantastic, actually. It's only 807, which is actually fine for this objective. But I'm just used to having 999 park ratings. So even at 20, that doesn't clear. Okay, so this is going to have to change a little bit after all. Um, so if we do a tight one there, we should be able to do... Okay, so that's one away from the line. That should work with what I had in mind. Yeah, I like that. And let's take this. Oh, that's cool looking. It's not going to work because of that. Oh, that's really cool. We can still probably clear it like that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're at 14 right now, and we need to get to 16. Um, so, actually, let's just take it up to... S what does this put us at? 18 again. I think we'll have the speed for it. Um, and then if I add some brakes right here. Um, actually, that's a bad idea. If I add the brakes there, it's not going to have the momentum to pull the entire car up. So let's go straight for a little bit first, then start adding our brakes. 22, 18. And we're going to go down below 16. And then kind of back up to it. I think that'll work nice. Uh, I might be running into coaster here. If I don't, it's amazing. Luckily, we have... Oh, only two grand to take out. I thought we had a lot more than that. Okay, time to end this ride. <laughs> that is that is a sure sign we need to finish this. Okay, so let's take this back through. I'm surprised we made it through that without hitting a tree. Right as I say that, I think we're about to hit a tree. <laughs> Okay, um, can we get back up this hill? I think we can if we go straight and do a tight one. Then we need to start coming back up. Ooh, this might actually work out perfect. 14, can we clear that? We can. Uh, we drop from 18, so I'm going to do a, ch a chain lift here at the end just to be safe. Oh, go away, tree. Get out of here. All right, um... Okay, we might be able to do this. If we S-Bend right, we're still at 14. Let's do that one earlier. If we S-Bend to the right. We shouldn't have a lot of speed here. I'm not worried about it. Um, and we can't do that. 
Okay, how do we make this work? Um, we can turn it here. No, we can't. Huh. And I can't do that any earlier either. Oh boy, here comes the issue of how the heck do we do this? And I tried this already, right? Roller coaster's in my way. Oh, it's that tile right there that's at 15 because we're at 14. What if I do it at 13? Will that work? It will kind of, sort of, not work at all. <laughs> okay, what if we do chains here? Actually, chains here. And then... Mm. <laughs> oh, gosh, guys. Okay, we're going to have to go a different direction with this. Um, so can we turn it here? Yes, we can. Start adding some chains. Just one piece of chain. And another one. And then another. Okay, so this is me saying it now, so I remember. We have to do at least five cars, or this will not work. Because <laughs> anytime we do this trick, a four-car train just does not work. Oh, that works. Eclipse, but at this point, I don't care. Okay, so that puts us at 19, which I think is going to be okay, I hope. Gosh, I hope so. Um, okay, so if we just go straight for a little bit at 20, not 19, because that won't work. Or 21. <laughs> is that what I needed to do? I don't know, guys. Okay, if we turn it here, that lines us up on the outside edge, which allows us to do this. No, because then we have a tree there. Okay, so we turn it here, there. Oh, gosh. S bend left, two, three. S bend left. Okay, and if we can drop this. Oh, oh, to 16. Oh. Can we go down under this? No. That would work so nice. And doing a wide one here works. But then we run into a tree, I think. Yeah. Oh, gosh, guys. We're so close to finishing this. So close. Okay, so what if we don't do that? What if we... Okay, all of this is just going to move super slow. I am aware of that. It's going to be going at a snail's pace. Oh, we're on top of it. So this will have to S-bend back to the right. <laughs> I know we're going at zero miles an hour for all of this, so this section is going to be... Very boring. Oh my gosh. Guys, I, I can't connect this. What is going on? Um, I don't see this happening. It's got to. But I just don't... Oh, can this work? Turn it. Drop it a little bit just for the momentum's sake. Um, we probably need to go one more. Okay, that'll, that'll line us up where, we, where we're wanting. 15. Oh, gosh. Okay. We might be shortening the station by a little bit. Oh, that doesn't work there. Okay, so we go down to 6. 14. Oh, there's a tree there. I didn't see that. And then there's a tree there if we do... Uh, Okay, um, can we take it straight for two and turn it? Maybe. Now we're, ride's gonna be in the way. So if we just. Oh gosh, guys. I don't see any of this. Oh, maybe. 
No, but there's a tree underneath that. And now we run into this other tree. <laughs> Unless we S-bend? Can we S-bend one earlier? Possibly. S-bend right? And then we run into that tree. Gosh, guys. I can't wait to be done with this park. Oh. Oh my gosh, guys. I think... I think... Don't quote me. I think we're there. Oh, we're there. Oh, yes. Oh, local authorities. I am so done with you. <laughs> guys, we finished it. We maxed our loan. We finished it with zero days left. <laughs> oh, gosh. We're going to build the path. We're going to connect this all up. We're going to test it. We're going to let someone go on it. Oh, but we completed it. <laughs> oh, right as they complain about the disgusting state of our paths. Guys, we finished this park. Feast Fest is complete. Oh, sigh of relief. Take a... Take a deep breath in with me and just let it out. Oh my gosh. That was the most challenging objective I have ever played in this game. We barely beat it too. We only had 100 more guests. Our park rating was not stellar. Uh, we beat it by 109, 103 more guests than necessary. But man, we actually kind of cut that close. We maxed our loan. Oh boy. We had a failure of a coaster here. <laughs> Lots of things didn't go our way. But I'm thankful that we completed it anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh, if I could type my name, what is going on? I just like laid my hand on my touchpad and messed that up. Oh gosh, okay. Let's get back to this real quick. What's at our entrance and exit? Hopefully we can get paths to them. I'm going to do them both here because I foresee issues over here with all the trees that were in our way that was a process and I, now i'm just hoping that it works first try don't have to edit anything but at this point our objective's complete so time isn't really a factor so for you guys it won't really make that much of a difference if it's fantastic or horrible on the first try uh because through the power of editing it'll be fantastic is that a tree that's a tree uh, okay. Our exit's gonna have to do some weird stuff. Just calling it now. It's gonna get weird. Um, let's actually bring this one further. Because the exit's gonna, again, be weird. And this allows us to do some, some more flexible things. Okay, I don't even know where we can successfully place this. Doing this queue is going to be just as difficult as everything else. Is that land or tree? That's tree. Um, and that's still going to be tree. What am I thinking? Okay, can we clear this? Or is that... No, we can't. Can we go back this way with it? Okay. Regardless of where that is, I think that line is plenty long. So now let's see if we can connect our exit up somewhere in this general direction. Um, luckily, there aren't too many trees between us and where we're trying to connect this, so I'm not that worried. All right, we can connect this up top here, just like I had originally planned. Something's going as planned. There we go. All right, now for the fun of getting the exit there as well. <laughs> Um, okay, so this is going to go underneath this and over the ride. At this point, supports can do whatever they want. Not too worried. This has got to drop a little bit too. Um, so let's actually start that back here. And I don't want to be turning as we go underneath the supports. I think that looks strange. So we won't. No idea where we're lining up height-wise. I could probably turn on height markers on path and we'd be golden. Tree in the way. Coaster in the way. 
So if we actually do this all a little bit higher, that might actually work. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. I'm seeing it. And it's the perfect height, too. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, let's get our sign going. Do not enter, please. We got enough enough path going over here. Oh, right. Let's get some benches. Yada, yada, yada. All the normal stuff. I can't see anything because these supports are everywhere. <laughs> this is nuts. I did say that this wood coaster was going to be the brown in our park. And uh, I think it took care of that. That thing looks epic. It's massive. <laughs> Takes up so much space. I love how our rides slowly got bigger and bigger. We started with two shuttle loops. We built our go-karts. We built our log flume. A bigger water slide. A bigger coaster. An even bigger... <laughs> It just got bigger and bigger and bigger. You guys get my point. All right. Let's grab our mechanic and hope we can place footpath for him. Maybe. I don't know where this. Oh, does that do the trick? Maybe I'm going to grab all that, but he's there. So we'll name this guy Woody because it's a wood coaster. I don't know. <laughs> and like Toy Story. All right, Woody is assigned to Roller Coaster 1, which I want to make this kind of a darker brown. I think that's going to look nice. Uh, so let's try my favorite brown. You guys know I love this one. Oh, yeah. Let's try a lighter color on the top. Does that even do anything? A little bit. I kind of like that. Lighter brown? No. This brown? Absolutely not. We're going to go with just the dark brown. That looks nice. See if this looks any better. It does not. Dark browns all the way. And then... What is... Uh, nope. Too much orange. What's a color we're lacking? Green? A little bit of green? A little bit of a... I don't know. I don't know if I like this or not. Oh, there it is. I like that. We're going to stick with that. I think that looks really nice. Blends in real nice with the trees. I like it. And then, what did I say? We had to do a minimum of five cars per train, which only gives us two trains still, so we'll stick with seven. Um, that station is a lot shorter than I would like. I could add more on the front, but we've completed our objective, so I don't really care that much. Okay, colors for these. We're going to do... Um, I want these to pop. What if we do white on this? White and black? And we'll just do all in the same colors? I think that could be really cool. A nice pop of color on this? I think that's going to be nice. Oh, right. We need a name for this. Um, <laughs> seeing as how this episode is coming out the day after Thanksgiving, let's name this... <laughs> and a lot of you are probably recovering from a food coma. We're going to name this one. If I can type, which I always can't. Tryptophan Trip. I think that's cool. Tryptophan is the, the chemical in turkey that makes you sleepy. So if you ate a lot of turkey yesterday... And you got tired afterwards, it's not because you're full, it's because of tryptophan. Okay, tryptophan trip. Let's go on a trip together, guys. These sayings are getting very lame, I realize that, but let's go on a trip together, guys, and see how well tryptophan trip performs.
<laughs> first try. First try. Oh, yeah. That's rare that that happens any anymore. That was really cool. It started really slow and slowly picked up speed until the very end here where it's like excessively fast around flat corners. I don't know what I was thinking when I did that. But it is still a complete success regardless. 746 excitement, 899 intensity. I think, don't quote me, think it goes up to extreme intensity at 9.0. So that is right there on the brink. 746. Oh man, that's nice. That was a fun coaster to build. I love these wooden coasters. They're so... I don't know. Of all the coasters that you can build in this game, I think they're the most like relatable to people as far as what they've seen in real life with coasters. I don't know why. I just... I think that... Yeah. <laughs> oh man, guys. That is it for Feast Fest. Look at this park. These coasters are so prominent. I love them. We started out kind of with our small stuff in the middle and just grew from there. The further out you get, the bigger the coasters get. I think that's really cool. Oh, man. As challenging as this park was and as frustrating as it was to build certain rides, um... I had a blast. This was a cool park. A very different theme or um, objective in the fact that you couldn't do anything to the land. But that was half the... I say fun in retrospect. It was it was frustrating for most of the time. But definitely new. Something... It was a fresh take on this game. All right, guys. That's going to do it for Beast Fest. I hope everyone had a fantastic Thanksgiving. Let's get the heck out of here and uh, see what's in store for us on our last park. That's right. We have one more park. Okay. Last park is Thunder Rock. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Thunder Rock stands in the middle of a desert and attracts many tourists. Use the available space to build rides to attract more people. Our objective here on Thunder Rock is to have at least 900 guests in our park at the end of October, year four, another four-year park, with a park rating of at least 600. Oh my gosh, what am I looking at? It's like a giant cliff with like no space at the bottom. Oh, but there's walkway on the top? Hold on, what? Oh, it's like a giant raised section in the middle with like nothing around the side. That is cool. Gonna be really difficult, but look at this, guys. See this? See how, well, look how expensive that is first. But we have the ability to modify land and place trees and remove them? Oh, it's gonna be nice. Yeah, this land is, um, it's going to be something else to work with. I can already foresee um, having some issues with our underground coasters in that you're not really able to see very well when you're underground, so it's going to be very easy to run into stuff. But this is a really tiny park. Like, we've got a lot of verticality to work with, but as far as horizontal space goes... We don't have much. I love this walkway on the outside here, like on the edge going all the way up. I think that looks really cool. Then it looks like the only thing here is a chairlift. Thunder Rock chairlift. Takes you from the bottom to the top. Oh, man. And it looks like there's just like one giant ring around the edge here. Well, there's our main pathway already. That's easy. And we can do a bunch of rides here in the middle. Some... I think I want to do another ring of path like on the lower level uh, with some of our smaller attractions maybe down there or even some coaster stations kind of tucked in here. Oh, and we can do so much stuff underground. Oh, this is actually going to be really cool. I'm excited for this park. No idea what I want to theme it yet, but we'll come up with something cool for our last park in this season of Roller Coaster Tycoon. I will eventually do all this game has to offer all three or i guess this is the original and then we've got two more 
DLC packs, uh, Corkscrew Follies, and Loopy Landscapes. Those will sort of be their own season, if you will. So you could consider this the last park in Season 1 of my Let's Play of Roller Coaster Tycoon. I'll probably be taking a little bit of a break between the seasons. I might even throw in a couple other games because I do have some stuff that I think would be fun to make videos with. That's really what I'm deeming fun content because if I'm having a good time playing it, I think it makes for an enjoyable video and I hope you guys agree. Oh, but with that said, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a fantastic Thanksgiving regardless of what you did. Good luck recovering from that food coma. And I will see you guys tomorrow when we begin work on Thunder Rock or whatever I choose to rename it. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you next time. Until then, as always, take care. <laughs>